Hey guys, welcome to Big Muddy Catfishing with Bank Pole Joe. And you're out here with my friend Jason from Catfish Assassins. What's up, YouTube? He's going to teach you how to catch bullheads the right way so they don't swallow the hook. My first bullhead out in this pond, <laughs> he swallowed the hook. And I'm using a long shank hook from Walmart in Aberdeen. And as you can see, it, that sucker's in there. Yeah, I fished them for years that way because a lot of guys online will say use a long shank hook and uh, they would they would swallow them down their gut every time. So uh, I switched over to smaller circle hooks and it normally will get them in the top of the mouth or the corner of the mouth. So, so yeah, that's a perfect example there. They'll, they'll swallow them straight down. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll be tying on a new hook every time. <laughs> yeah, and I don't keep very many of those, y'all, so... <laughs> We need to come up with a different system so they don't swallow the hook. Yeah, we might be able to get that one out. But look, guys, first Better bait size. first bait of the day. Better size bullhead. Nice size little bullhead. That might pull another one of them big flatheads I caught like the other <laughs> night. Keep in mind, guys, we're going out on the full moon with the river rising tomorrow. We're going to see what it's like, see how much catfish we can catch. Check out the pond. Nice little view. I think since you caught that one on the bottom, I'm going to set my bobbers a little deeper here. Yeah, and actually, he was they he was right here. I didn't cast out very far. Kind of right out in front. All right, guys, give us a second. We'll see if we can pull some more bullheads, and we'll show you what we got to show you today. It's a rig for how to catch these bullheads. Make sure they don't swallow the hook. That way you have some live fish, some good fish when you go out catfishing. Go ahead. Uh, so you can fish them like a slip sinker or another way that's quicker is you can just take a split shot on your line, put your slip, uh, slide weight above that. And the idea is just to keep resistance off the bottom so the fish can grab the bait and take off with it without feeling the resistance to that weight. Yeah. It'll give them time for that circle hook to set in. So, okay. so you can use a barrel swivel or a split shot in right. a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> so either one works, guys. So you can use a, see that up close, really small barrel seeker. And split shot. And here's here's the rig set up. It's a barrel swivel, and I always throw a bead on there. Um, but anything just so the when the fish can take off, you can see there's no weight on this bottom part, and they'll take off with it and set the hook in himself. And that way, that way, that gives them a chance to set the hook because they will spit it out quick if you if they feel the weight, resistance of that weight on their mouth. So. All right. Well, guys, guys, we'll hook up this rig on my pole, and we'll go after one another, another big bullhead. <laughs> Keep, stay tuned. I think we lost him, guys. Yeah, still, got worm. still got worm though. <laughs> <laughs> guys, got a bullhead on the rig. On the circle hook, he's caught right in the top of the mouth. They won't swallow the hook down that way. So, I like to use these clips on them just in case they do. I can cut the hook off and throw a new one on. Look at him, his tail's gone. <laughs> Somebody was snacking on yeah, him. Yeah, they, they've been spawning in here. It might have been a turtle. That's a nice size bullhead, our second one of the day. And he, you, as you can see, he's hooked right, no gut hook. Man, I've never seen one with the tail cut off like that. Is it bleeding yeah. or is it healed? Well, it's... Looks like it's, it's healed. It's healed, but... 
Snap and Turtle got a hold of him or something. Something, but I think they spawned in here recently because a lot of the ones I've been catching lately have little wounds, wounds on, on them. And stuff. Yep. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, guys. They're spawning. It means the other catfish are spawning. <laughs> there we go. Check it out, guys. I think I'm tangled up in Jason's line. <laughs> <laughs> got us a bullhead. Another decent size Another one. Bullhead on the bobber. They, yeah, they seem to be biting on the bobber. What's this thread? Oh, that's your line, ain't it? Or is it? Uh, uh, yeah, that's that braid line. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, a little bit tangled, but still got our bullhead. It's an understatement. Uh, did he swallow it? Uh, uh, he's going to bite me. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll bite you. Yeah, he might have swallowed that one a little bit. Kind of let him run around with it for a second to get the camera ready. So he, <laughs> so he, he swallowed it down. Swallow. Uh, we well gonna. Have, I don't know. If you want to cut the line or? Yeah, let me real tangled. Cut this. Um, one. All right, guys, check that moon out. Ninety-nine percent full. Really, be a good night to go out and set my poles. I'm gonna be good tonight. <laughs> check out that view. As you can see, still got our bobbers in the water. Trying to catch these bullheads. If you guys are watching this video, don't forget, we'll be out tomorrow on the full moon. Really hitting the banks hard, trying to see if we can catch some big flatheads and some big blues. So if you like that, subscribe to our channel. Check us out. Also, get on Instagram. Follow my friend Jason. Hashtag Catfish Assassins. I need to get a tripod. <laughs> I actually got one. They need one for a phone. Yeah. Uh-oh, my bobber's on the move. It's coming towards me, actually. All right. Man, this is a really slow bite for bullheads. You think that's a bullhead this time? Here you go. Uh, could be. I'm recording now. He's just rolling with it. It's hard telling those sunfish like to push them around like that too. Want to tease me? There we go. Little bullhead. Itty bitty bullhead. <laughs> Still counts for something, guys. You see that hook set? Right at the top. Got a little fat belly on him too. Just how you want it. And another thing is I uh, I like to pinch the barb down on these hooks. It makes it a lot easier to remove and a lot less damage to the fish. If they do swallow it down a little bit, it makes it easier to get them out. So, all right. Yeah. Check it out, guys. And on these little ones, on the dorsal fin and the pectoral fin, they do have razor sharp spines, so you don't want to let a kid go grabbing these because it will cut you. I've been stung <laughs> about a thousand times. But if you're an adult, you know how them big catfish <laughs> sting, so imagine that with a hypodermic needle because that's what you're going to feel with these little guys. Yeah, that's why another reason I pinch that barb down because a lot of times I can just rotate the hook and they'll fly it right off. So Yeah. There we go, guys. Another bullhead to put in the tank. I like these size ones. Okay, guys, check it out. The moon's definitely nice and bright today. We're catching bullheads in this little spot in this corner of the pond, which seems to us that the moon is reflecting off this spot and why we're getting these bites. We wasn't getting a lot of bites earlier, but as you can see, the sun, sun is down. It's starting to get dark. So the bite's starting to pick up. And we got some nice size bullheads in the bucket. As you can see, our rig for our bullheads work. We've had a few swallow the hook, but those have been some big size bullheads, so. Next time we'll try.
try a little bit bigger hooks, and I think it'll get them better in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Less chance of them swallowing it. Get bites. <laughs> 